There is not uh, something uh, to uh, be of conflict in uh, this uh, presentation. Uh, I am uh, actually related to many associations uh, which are in love with Elizarov and with uh, spreading knowledge all over the world. The Egyptian Specific Association, the Secret Infection Subspecial Director of Africa, World Against Infection on Hospital and Trauma Director of Africa. Uh, World uh, Orthopedic Concern, the Vice President, and the Pan Arab Orthopedic Association Management of IT and website, and of course LRS.pt, Limb Extractive Surgery Professional Diploma Program Director. My regards also from our friends and colleagues in a million University of Hospitals, where uh, it lies here, uh, 240 kilometers south to Cairo, though uh, the uh, LRS. Uh, many stay in uh, Cairo itself. Here is the River Nile, where is our hospital lies in. Returning to our uh, problem, which is uh, the specific method of uh, skeletal reconstruction of massive bone and soft tissue loss, which remains a topic of controversy. The problem increased in case of bone and soft tissue defect due to massive bone loss, extensive soft tissue scar, vascular compromise, and short tibial remnants. Uh, many conventional methods are used for bone and soft tissue defect or uh, uh, soft tissue defects reconstruction uh, uh, alone or soft tissue combined or associated with soft tissue defect. The need for microvascular consultation is a major obstacle. We tried the use of orthoplastic elizarov assisted technique IAT skills using fibula in assisted technique in bone and soft tissue defects reconstruction. So uh, the massive post tissue uh, and bone reconstruction uh, has been tried with Elizarov since long time, but it was, was not uh, named as orthoplastic effect. But uh, I think that it is uh, honored for uh, me to uh, say that this is an orthoplastic effect on the high qualification method that had been uh, explained and practiced nowadays. The indication for these cases were massive bone loss, extensive soft tissue loss or a scar, vascular compromise and or short tibial remnants. All 24 males were average age 28, uh, there were past history of more than two previous uh, surgical attempts for management in all cases, and patient presented with bone and soft tissue defect uh, uh, sex cases or post debridement in seven and discharging sign in seven with intermittent discharging in four. Non -non union was associated, of course, as, or in some cases of stiffness in three cases and the stiffness of the ankle in five cases. The methods, as usual, uh, regard of methods of Elizarov uh, have many uh, possible uh, techniques. Uh, but the using of orthoplastic Elizarov assisted technique had been practiced in 13 cases of the post infective non union of the bones. The wound was and the bone was explored according to the case. The debridement of the soft tissue and the excision of the sinus was performed. The bone debridement to public sign and sequestrum was removed. Uh, local antibiotic was added in some cases, and the LSR of device was applied to the legs. Different techniques had been used, such as acute compression at the site if we have good debridement. Uh, uh, compression at the debrided side, followed by distraction after uh, some uh, uh, healing process with uh, starting consolidation or with starting chondrification or uh, union, and doing uh, what we call distraction compensation of the lengthening from the same site as a monofocal technique. Also, bone transport was used gradual compression with distraction at a corticotomy site away from the site of the uh, infection and the debrided area. Sometimes we use the fibula elizarov assisted technique also in some cases. The results of the monofocal techniques in three uh, had been used acute shortening and bifocal we used three times. Uh, uh, 
uh, bone transport in two cases of bifocal and one uh, of acute docking and re-lengthening in one case. Fibular transposition in four cases, free fibular vascularized fibular graft in one and free non-vascularized fibular graft in two cases uh, had been performed. Uh, as regards soft tissue um, defect alone, which is not associated with uh, a bony defect, we used the Elazar of skin traction device in three cases with a traction kit in two. After follow-up of average 34 months, all fractures healed within six up to 22 months. Here's the Corgan uh, in those days of the winters. As a discussion, we can say that bonus of tissue defect, if we dealt with this separately, it is very difficult. So consult usually plastic opinion if you can. But this may add nothing if you are not working as a team in your hospital. But usually it is the case of your own problem as an orthopedic surgeon and will stay as an orthopedic problem. You are the, the leader in this problem. We, you should put in your mind that the time lag is important and long time for soft tissue reconstruction, then bone reconstruction is a problem. So we are searching for a scenario for orthoplastic or, and plastic surgery to do with each other, which is so difficult to do it. Uh, so we are looking for doing orthoplastic effect of Elizarov. Looking for this case, which is a multiple trauma patient with open fracture grade 3B, crash injury, accident, skin loss, crashed muscle, exposed tendon, bone shattered, comminuted with deficient parts, and open distorted joint as we see here. This is the diagram shows out and has the X-ray and P and lateral view. Uh, as an emergency, we uh, did an aggressive debridement, uh, no wall closure, unilateral frame had been applied to give the chance for the plastic surgeon to do what he would like to do. And he preferred to do posterior skin release and the skin grafting. But unfortunately, this failed and we are confronted with this raw area and a very shattered and loss and the deficiency of bone inside this uh, cup. So we are looking for this failed scenario of also plastic surgeon and we should return for ourselves as an orthopedic surgeon and seeking for the solution from ourselves. The conventional methods of management of bone and sort of defect was our aim in some instances, but nowadays we have the microvascular techniques and the lizard of techniques. With the mainstay of all this reconstruction of the massive bonus of tissue defect, the muscular technique, the bone transport, and the vascularized bone uh, graft. Also for the soft tissue defect, there is a conventional method which is so uh, severe, so uh, important as had been practiced in many times and many instances, starting by direct closure, primary versus secondary closure, skin grafting, and the flaps, with upper hand of three myofascial flaps in many instances and in soft tissue reconstruction. So we couldn't use each one alone with other. Looking for our case, we found that as a calculation of all these suggestive uh, ideas, is that bone defect, we have a muscular technique, bone transport, vascular fibular graft. And for this case, we can use primary or secondary, which is not possible. Skin grafting is possible, and the flap is possible. And the free myofascial flap, again, is possible, but we are in need here for a microvascular or a plastic surgeon. So we are trying to plan this by solving the problem of the soft tissue and the uh, uh, bone reconstruction by applying this diagram. This is the sketch of uh, our procedures, subcutaneous skin, percutaneous wire, then hooked wire, attach it to it, attach it to a slotted uh, threaded rods to and mounted to a plate, which are constructed to the foot piece and the uh, uh, tibia uh, piece. This is a frame clinically, the foot piece mounted by 
the, the plate mounted to the footpiece and the tibial frame, and this is this threaded rod, which has which having this uh, hooked uh, wires attached to the skin uh, through uh, traction, track, tracting the skin through a percutaneous wire here, such as this sketch. By moving this threaded rods, we can stretch, scratch, tract everything for this sketch. It is clear here that we can move this to close this. And another one had been applied for the anterolateral part to distract uh, for, for traction also for the skin from this side. This is how it is closed from the previous. This is the tendons, how it is open and the bone shattered here. And this is the tendons is, is so uh, exposed. Uh, looking for the, the that the previous section explain how it happens for the soft tissue, but looking for the what has happened for the bone, we also are playing with the uh, olive wires and working with the lazar of well application of some threaded. This is the skin or the hooked skin uh, uh, traction kit, and we are looking by uh, planning for. Uh, grouping this shutter. This is the AP view and this is the lateral view, how it is distracted and lateralized. We apply some olive wires and making distraction between the proximal and distal part from the foot piece and the tibia. So we are opening this place to reinforce and to track and to drag the bone here and collect them in between both the distal and the proximal part of this construct as you will see later on. Here, the locks, the lock of the skin, later on after reconstruction by using this direction kit via Elizarov and how it looks and how he can walk using it after application of the Elizarov. And this is what the bone had been done. We collect all this by using the olive wires as mentioned and here the consolidation in AP and lateral and now we can have all these, and this is the photo after uh, one year of the accident. Here is before the skin and soft tissue, and here is after that, and soft tissue already good and covered, no bone exposed and no tendon exposed. This is was one of our earlier cases which had been published with uh, Professor Ramat Hosni in uh, October uh, 2003 more than 20 years, or around 20 years ago in the International Association. Uh, this is one of our memories, a greeting for all those, our friends of Rizarov all over the world, and starting with our friend, uh, Professor Shubitsov, and a greeting for you all, and would like to see you soon, inshallah. So as a conclusion, the problem of bone and soft tissue defect to deal with them one by one it is so serious and difficult and of time lag and to do to deal with the bone and then soft tissue also take the same time and more but doing this by using the scenario of orthoplastic effect of it is is so beneficial in providing bone and soft tissue reconstruction concomitantly in the same time and correction with the form if needed with earlier rehabilitation, especially if microvascular consultation is an optimal.